Are you using your MacBook inefficiently and want to boost your productivity to the next level? In this video, I will go over 50 of the most convenient keyboard shortcuts. Whether you're new to Mac or a seasoned user, you'll discover useful shortcuts to streamline your productivity. Now let's get started. Command and space brings up Spotlight Search. You can launch apps, perform calculations, or even locate files. You can save a lot of time with this shortcut, bypassing the need to open apps via the launchpad. If you are on clamshell mode, then control right or left arrow will allow you to move between different windows. Control command plus F initiates the full screen mode for the active application or window. It's a much better alternative to pressing the small green button. You can swiftly exit an app without the hassle of right clicking and then selecting quit. The command and Q shortcut is the quickest way to quit out of an app. Command and M minimizes the front window. If you want to hide the active window, just use the Command plus H shortcut. Command and W closes the front window. If you have two or more apps open, then Command plus Tab can be used to switch between apps. To open up the emoji panel, use the Control, Command and Space shortcut. When using a browser, these are the shortcuts that you need to know. Command and T opens up a new tab. Command plus L conveniently highlights the address bar, perfect for swiftly copying the URL or directly accessing a website without the need to open a new tab. To close the tab, just hit Command plus W. Command and Z opens your most recently closed tab. Command Shift T grants the ability to restore multiple tabs. Imagine accidentally closing an entire window with numerous tabs open. Simply reopen your browser and then press Command, Shift and T to bring them all back. Let's say there is an issue with the web page that you are currently on. Just hit Command and OR to refresh the page. Command paired with a number allows you to change the specific tabs. Let's say I want to go on Facebook. I just have to use the Command and 4 shortcut. Command and N opens up a new browser window. To access your browser preferences, you can use the Command plus Comma shortcut. The Finder can be a daunting place for beginner Mac users. These shortcuts are bound to increase your efficiency. If you want to delete a file or a folder, just hit Command plus Backspace. Okay, let's say you made a mistake, you didn't want to delete that file. Just hit Command and Z to undo the action. Click on a file and then press the return key. You can now rename the file or folder. Command and I shows the Get Info window. Command and D duplicates the file. Command and mouse click allows you to select one file at a time. Shift and mouse click to select multiple files at a time. Command and A to select every file in the window. There is no need to right click to create a new folder. Just hit Command, Shift and N to create a new one. You don't need to double click to preview a file. Just hit the spacebar key instead. Alternatively, Command, Shift and P brings up the preview panel. You can also use the same shortcut again to hide it. Command and N opens up a new finder window. Here is a list of shortcuts for when you're working with documents. Command and C copies the highlighted text. Now to paste it, just use Command and V. To cut the text, just use Command and X and then you can paste it with Command and V. If you make a mistake, you can undo the action with Command and Z. And to redo, just hit Command, Shift and Z. Command and A is used to highlight everything in the text document. You can delete forward by using FM plus backspace. To find an item in a document, just use the shortcut Command and F. For those of you who edit videos or use the Microsoft Suite, Command and S is your best friend. You can now save your file without the need of a mouse. Command and backspace deletes the entire line. Option and backspace deletes one word at a time. When it comes to highlighting and selecting text, here is everything that you need to know. Command and arrow key moves the insertion point to the start or end of the current line. Option arrow key will move the insertion point one word at a time. To highlight one letter at a time, just use shift and arrow key. To highlight one word at a time, hit option, shift and arrow key. Finally, command, shift and arrow key will highlight the entire line. Here are three screenshot shortcuts that can come in handy. Command, Shift and 3 takes a screenshot of your entire window. Command, Shift and 4 brings up your crosshair. You can click and drag to select the area you wish to capture. 
Command Shift and 5 captures a selected portion. This is the slowest shortcut to capture a part of your screen, but it is the most precise. There aren't many useful image shortcuts, however I do have one notable shortcut that can come in handy for everyday use. You can actually remove the background of any image you click into, just use the Command, Shift and K shortcut. Now here is a bonus tip for you, you can actually navigate from field to field within a form, and you don't need to use your mouse, just hit the tab key when you're filling out your forms. Thank you for making it this far. I have prepared a PDF with every shortcut that I have discussed about in this video so you can easily reference the shortcuts whenever you need. Simply click the link in the video description to download the file. That is all for today. Stay tuned for more content and as always, thank you for watching.